Let's finish up this system here, if we can. That was only 66. Ver. A planet with nothing. It's been ignored by the intergalactic community because there's just nothing here. Okay, Ford is down. Kestus. I think this is one of the places that we got from the star charts that we bought from Ilium. Minos Wasteland. Invictus. Home to dextroamino acid based life. Invictus's temperate zones were settled by a Turian population that initially fell prey to a bewildering number of diseases. Two decades after its first colony was founded, its population had reduced by half due to fatalities and a large colonist exodus. But when the Primarchs considered ceding the planet to robo mining interests, the Turian statesman, Shastina Empress, ambitiously declared that she would start her own colony and double its population within five years. This effort succeeded, largely due to the colony's location in deserts with a minimal number of pest species. The image of Shastina's triumph in the frontier made for good political theater, and the Turian population poured in. The planet's tropical belt still remains largely unexplored, as its aggressive organic life still wreaks havoc on Turian biology. A house in the Invictus jungle is a modern Turian phrase for an idea that seems like a good idea, but only to the one who came up with it. Invictus's atmosphere is primarily nitrogen and oxygen. And yada yada yada. It can support life easily, so criminals throughout the Determinist systems hide out here. The official population is estimated to be half the number of sapiens that are actually on the planet. Whoa, that's a massive population! <gasps> what? That's like, that's massive! And this isn't even, like, Turian homeworld. My goodness. Wow. Probe launched. But you can see, though, looking at the planet here, there's, like, random stuff here, and then random stuff here, and then this little strip of land, which might be the only habitable zone in the whole place. We're getting into some Turian territory here, huh? Temeraris. Visible in Invictus's night sky is Temeraris, a planet named for the Turian spirit, said to have inspired the crew of their first manned moon launch, a boiling hot rock planet. It's very hot due to a thick atmosphere, and it's just very hot. And mining is difficult here and dangerous, because meteors often fall down. Hmm. Smaller system, although we had quite a scare. Quite a scare with the hus thingy just now. Ooh. Let's get out of here. There's not even a freaking fuel depot here, are you kidding me? What? No, that is the Arrival DLC. Where is the Shadow Broker base? Uh, this one? Yeah, let's go back and read some of those dossiers again. And get back fuel, thank you very much. We've already looked at all the planets in this system. Shadow Broker Base. You know what? Before going here, what I'm gonna do is probably talk to my crew members again. Because we just did a small mission, so some people might want to talk to me, maybe. Shepard. I thought we could chat a bit. I would like that. I love talking to Samara. She's so calm. You have been a good friend to me. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> this is a renegade thing! Oh, but I thought we were past that phase already, you know? I... Uh, uh, <coughs> Samara, we have a connection. Oh my god. I would not have dreamed that one so young could touch me. But Shepard, you must put the thought from your mind. It can never be. <gasps> Samara, it can be. You just have to open your mind. I serve a code stronger and deeper than any feelings. If we survive this mission, my oath to you ends. 
I will be bound by the code again. That makes a relationship impossible. Wait, so you're saying that for the duration of this mission? Then you're not really bound by your code because you're bound to me because of the oath you swore to me. Is that what you're saying? I think this would make her really angry, to be honest. I don't think she's that kind of... gal. Nothing says we have to start a relationship. Shepard, I am flattered by your persistence. <laughs> if I were a maiden, I'd drag you to the floor right now. But I am not a maiden, and sex without emotion simply doesn't interest me. It will not be. Accept it. Oh man, when you know, when Samara says something, you know it's final. We just know that we don't have a chance. Oh, I wish I saw this earlier. I probably could have made things even more chaotic aboard the Normandy, huh? But I think Samara, <laughs> things were literally next door, so she probably knows about me and him. Dang it, I wish I, I really wish I saw this part a little bit earlier, but it's okay. It's okay, I probably play around a little bit too much with Samara's liking anyway. <laughs> <gasps> okay, Samara. I'm sad though. Just let me know when you want to change your mind. Yeah. <laughs> Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? I really need to clean up this engine. Maybe later? I'll let you work. Talk to you later. I don't think anybody no wants to talk to me anymore. Me. Yeah, even Tali doesn't want to talk to me, so I think for the Normandy dialogue, we've pretty much exhausted it. Except for maybe Samara, although even if it hasn't been exhausted, <laughs> it's kind of weird to keep talking to her now. Uh, whoops. I've already got Thane and Liara now, okay? Uh, as much as I wish I had room for a third one, I don't think we do. I wish we did, but uh, I don't get to choose, so it is what it is. Let's get back to our other Asari. Hey Liara, I came dressed today. Not really the right time. Oh, hey. Hey, little ball guy. Uh, hi. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for coming by. Oh, that's it? That's it? Thanks for coming by. Okay, great. Okay, we don't have to talk about anything that makes me or you upset. Great. Shipment, 2500 platinum. So we can still keep getting shipments here? Oh, I see. What about Farron? How you doing? You still resting here? <laughs> you know, for a second, when I was from far away, if you look right next to Farron, the little triangle part where the two couches join, it kind of looked like a volus. Do you see it? <laughs> I, thought th I thought there was a volus standing right there. It scared me for a second. Hi again, Shepard. Hi. No, I think this is it, right? For two years, Liara didn't stop looking for you. You two must have been close. She's a good friend. Better than I deserve. You better remain good friends. Take it easy, Farron. Or even just friends. Thanks. Or even not friends. <laughs> I can talk to Farron, but I can't talk to Liara. That's so weird. Any more new videos? I came dressed to watch videos today. Aria Talok, Omega. This is new. Who are you spying on? Oh my god! Oh, that's such an Aria thing to do. Emily Wong, Citadel. Interviewing a Hanar? While there's a car crash in the back? Ooh. Fred Mazai, Citadel. With a Hanar? Doing some secret back alley dealings. Oh my god, looking at a Hanar walking is freaking me out. Look at those little limbs. I don't think we've ever seen a non-stationary Hanar before, right? This is the first time we've seen one, I believe? Donnell Udina, Omega. Udina! I thought you were all about the humans! Everyone loves Asari. Armando Bailey, Citadel. It's working. 
working at the Citadel. David Anderson, Citadel. Whoa! <laughs> Does Anderson do that on a regular basis now? Just taking everything out on Udina? <laughs> this is not... Uh, maybe we should delete this footage. This is not good. Not the best Prince thing, especially for a Omega. council member. What am I looking at? Who is that? Is it a Turian? I don't remember this guy. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, being a reporter is a tough job at a Citadel. But this is the bad reporter. Emily Wong is the good one. She doesn't get punched. But this one gets punched by everybody. Keeper 20, Citadel. A selfie! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, God. <laughs> That's a close up. Matriarch Atheta, Ilium. <gasps> oh, my God, what is happening here? Why, are, why is there even footage for any of this? <laughs> yeah, we gotta go back to Tuchanka for that one quest too. Elias Kellum, Citadel. Uh, Elias was that one guy that we were punching, the good cop, bad cop guy. So he looks like he's bribing somebody here from CSEC. Okir test subject number 317, alias Grunt. Ilium. Grunt? Oh! Wait, what? When was Grunt doing this? Wasn't he on the ship the whole time? When did that happen? Kaje, this must be from a long time ago then. Oh! Oh my god. Oh, oh that's too badass. Oh my god, it's like a Bond movie. Okay, Thane had a life before the Normandy, but not Grunt, so I wonder when the Ilium thing happened. Just a car, Samara. Ilium. Maybe shortly before we met her? It's wreaking havoc on Ilium because everyone here is bad. She's so poised. She just brought the whole freaking ship back. Aria Talok, Omega. Hey, yeah, we should be coming back here every now and then, huh? I was thinking we would come back here one time, like right now, and then maybe after we're done the side missions again, before we go through the relay, we'll come back again. I don't know how much there is in total, though. Sorry, Liara, you can get back to your duties now. I'm gonna go read some dossiers. Last time we left off at... Zaid, I believe? Garrus, former CSEC officer, exceptional tactical and team building skills, leadership potential overshadowed by Shepard. Oh, unlikely to fully develop under Shepard's command. Hmm. That's true. That's true. We are... <laughs> yeah. We're stifling people's potential for leadership by being their leader. Kill list. Noted criminal deaths on Omega. Rihesh Shurda, gang leader, headshot. Selkit Shiriron, gang enforcer, headshot. Kron Harga, slaver. Gunshot wounds all extremities and primary organs. Rifle butt fracture to face. Third degree burns to most of body, explosive crate. Har Rek, saboteur, suffocation. Gus Williams, headshot. Thralog Merkit, red sand dealer, chemical overdose. <gasps> Red sand, direct contact with all four eyes. Wait, what is it? Who has four eyes? Who has four eyes? I can't think of anybody with four eyes right now. Not Krogans, not Asari. Not Turians. 
Who has four eyes? Vorcha? Wait, Vorcha? Vorcha have two eyes, don't they? I don't know. Zel Anik, Nar Hilash, Cough. Cough? Okay. Viral specialist, serial killer. Garrus is a very competent killer. Visor specs, targeting visor, custom. Unique model based on Kuashi frame. Magnification of up to 100 times, integrated target tracing, optimal wind slash gravity compensation solutions, sonar, radar, thermal, and EM targeting capable. Monitors biofeedback on target within 10 meters to detect heart rate, fluctuations, or changes to breath pattern. Standard council races only. Can detect and measure biotic fields up to 100 meters away and provide optimized firing solution to collapse kinetic barriers or synthetic shielding support. Optional kill timer can track number of enemies taken down by self or suit synced team members in given time period. Like it's a video game, I'm just tracking how many people we're killing here. Armor Hotlink provides backtracing of incoming fire and corrects for micro refraction of outgoing shots through kinetic barrier. Audio link plays music per user request. Top five choices during firefight. Die for the cause, Turian Imperial Anthem. <laughs> fire in the courtyard, soundtrack, fleet and flotilla. Bang Bang Boom, Club Kicks, Dance Mix, Hurt Me Deeper, Best of Expel 10, Dance Mix, Blue Azure, Vanya, Soundtrack, Garrus has watched Vanya. 10 names carved in the frame, Erash, Montague, Mirren, Grundon Kroll, Melenis, Ripper, Sensat, Wartash, Butler, Weaver. Additional name carved and subsequently burned out, Sedonis. His team. Is that really smart though? What if you get caught and then everyone knows your entire team's identity? Obviously, it doesn't really matter for now, but... Mm. Wish we could learn a little bit more about Garrus' time with his team, huh? Now, Garrus being the leader of his own team, yeah, that shows that he has leadership potential too. And it's being stifled right now because he's under meme. Which is a bit of a shame. Justicar Samara, Asari Justicar. Rigidity of Justicar code makes her movements and mission outcomes predictable. Mother to three Ardak Yakshi, one of which remains wanted for murder. In Citadel space, not anymore. Transmission Log 1755 CE. I have called you together to ask something of you. It is not a small thing, but it is for the best. Rila, Falir, are you receiving this? Quite well. Mother? We're in a common room. Her communicator's too near the door. Try now, mother. This news would be best delivered in person, but I am not allowed to travel before tomorrow. I have something I must do. It is hazardous, and thus, I must do it alone. What do you mean hazardous? Tomorrow, I take the Oath of Solitude. It is to prepare me for the other oaths, but it means... You what? It is an oath required of all who... I know what it means, mother. I'm 42 years old. I have heard of Justicars. Then... Do you understand why I must do it? No. The life of a Justicar is dangerous. I will make enemies, and they will seek to use you. That I understand. What is not clear is why you do this in the first place. Is it not enough that we live a hundred light years away from you in a dang fortress? That we have no communicator of our own, but must use this communal one? Do you know what it means to us to hear your voice? Oh, they're not even allowed to have their own communicator. No privacy, just in case if they have some Ardak Yakshi plans, I guess. Because this is Samara's two daughters in the monastery. Oh my god. I am sorry, Falir. And now you take that away! That is wounding, but it is the truth. I wish there were some other path. And you called us instead of coming to see us. If I came to see you, I would never leave. You know what that would mean. Is she that terrible, mother? Is she so much of a menace that you would deny us ever seeing you, ever hearing your voice again? My dear, I cannot lose her on the world and pretend I owe her victims nothing. Her crimes are my crimes. In time, you may see as I do. Time is a weak salve for a fresh wound. Please. Do not let anger ruin this. We will have our lives to contemplate the pain and loss. Can we not see from one another's eyes, just for a moment? Flair? I don't want to lose you, mother. Not over someone as small as Morala, or whatever she calls herself now. 
Oh, Morinth didn't even keep her name. She rejected literally everything that everybody else tried to push on her. And Rila? You have been silent. Are you in accord? I can only say I will yearn for you too. Surely you have more than that. Is this the only way you'll have any righteousness, mother? It will let me live a just life. Then goddess forbid I take it from you. Rila terminates call. She loves you, mother. She did not say it, but she does. And you? Can you understand why I must do this? Catch her. Just catch her. Hmm. Everything Samara has shown us is that, she, you know, she thinks this is a need. It's not a want. Her own desires don't matter. She loves her two daughters. Of course she does. She loves all three of them. But she wants to go see them too, but she can't because to her, killing Morinth is just a necessity, which is insane. Before becoming a Justicar, I kind of wonder, but I think Samara already had this kind of personality. It's not like she developed it after she became a Justicar, right? It's that she has this personality that led her to becoming a Justicar. Inventory, possessions bequeathed by Justicar Samara. Large goods, four bedroom home on Thessia. Furniture and household appliances. L cost sapphire family sidecar. Sky car. Clothing and jewelry. Casual clothing. Approximately 20 outfits. Bond ceremony gown. Bond ceremony bracelet. Hollow locket. Images of bond mate. Children. Baby and children clothing. Mm. A peek at. Oh my god. Four bedroom home though. That's. Hmm. She was doing pretty well for herself, huh? It's uh, her belongings before she gave it all up. Miscellaneous. Lifetime Saris Fitness Membership Pass. First place trophy, amateur skyball league. Vid and novel library, various. Photo albums. Sculpture of Samara and Bondmate. Personalized happy birthday mom travel mug with photo of Samara and children. Handle cracked and repaired, some glue marks visible. Memorial sphere, Bondmate. Birthing creche. It's kind of difficult to look at the Samara now and just associate her with all these like material things. It's a very, very big sacrifice she made, but it's one that she chose for herself and... She seems like... It seems like it's something she really, really... Maybe not need, or maybe not want, but she just feels like she needs to do it. Tally Zorafaz Normandy! Mechanic and engineer, typical Quarian investment in species' future instead of personal advancement. Fathers work useful in widening tensions between Geth and Quarian races. Useful, says the Shadow Broker. This is all written by the previous one, I assume. Soup process log. Upgraded GUI for relic technology. Fee authorization, Project Haystrom. Upgraded suit diagnostics for radiation detection. What does it mean by fee authorization? Oh, like it costs money? But because she's working on this project, she had the fee waived or paid for by the project. Updated Omni tool for enhanced data integrity. Upgraded translator software for all human languages. Installed suit application, NutriScan 2.2, Engine Master 3.6, Human Vessels. Nerve Stim Pro. Downloaded Entertainment Vid. Exiles, Portraits of the Lost Quarians. Prototype Defense Suite, Shield Jack 0.8. Authorized by... Admiral Hangarel Vasnima, her captain. Upgraded medical scanning and quarantine suite. RAN process, infection treatment, isolated. Downloaded education vid. Dealing with loss. Hmm. Uninstalled Nerve Stim Pro, reinstalled it because turning it off and turning it on usually makes something work. <laughs> Downloaded education vid. Understanding body language, human edition. Hmm. Downloaded entertainment vid, fleet and flotilla. Hey, Garrus watched that one too. <laughs> Uninstalled Nerf Stim Pro again. Downloaded vid. Human courtship and mating. Huh. What? Why can't we? Why can't we romance Tali? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Installed suit application, Immuno Boost, Professional Edition. Reinstalled suit application, Nerf Stim Pro, Deluxe Edition. Hey, she got the better version finally. This must be like the free trial or something. A lot of the races are like really humanoid, so it's easy to forget, but I guess we all have like different body languages, different idioms and all that. Message chain. To the Shadow Broker from Tally. 
I know you don't know me. I'm the daughter of Admiral Rael Zora, and I've run into trouble on my pilgrimage. I was investigating a disabled Geth and found a recording that seems to indicate that a specter named Saren is working with a Geth. He's betrayed the Council and is working for some group called the Reapers. Ah, the very, very beginning. Remember when Tali had this info and she was the only one to have it. I'm on the Citadel now, but Saren's people are after me. This is too big for me to deal with. I'm willing to offer you the information in exchange for protection. Are you interested? To Tali from Shadow Broker? I'm interested, and you were smart to come to me. I have an enforcer on the Citadel named Fist. He can protect you. Give him the information, and let him get you someplace safe. No deal. Saren has turned too many people against me. If we're doing this, I want to meet you in person. I can't trust anybody else. Understood. I'll meet you in person. Fist will set it up. Of course he won't. To Fist from Shadow Broker. I'm forwarding you the intel on a Quarian named Tali Zora. She wants a meeting, and she's got valuable intel. Get her someplace safe, and avoid any intelligence channels. Spectre, Saren, Arterius is after her. When you get the intel, kill the Quarian and any of our operatives who had access to the data. This information cannot be compromised. Top level security. You'll be compensated for the loss of any of your people. Compensated how? It's a human life, or alien life. To Shadow Broker from Tali, your agent was compromised. He tried to sell me out to Saren. I've turned the information over to a human alliance commander named Shepard, and I think I've got all the protection I need. Thank you for your offer, and I hope this does not affect any future exchanges. Of course. I apologize for Fist's behavior. Should you ever change your mind, I'd be more than happy to offer my personal protection. Please contact me at your earliest convenience. Oh, Tali, you didn't even realize! Keystroke recording. Omni tool use, Citadel. Begin new message. Dear Sen and Hesesh Joran, I am Erase. To the parents of Mir Joran Vas. Erase. My name is Tali Zora Vas Nima, and I led the unit where your son was killed on Haystrom. Oh. I led the unit on Haystrom where your son died. Yeah, yeah, that sounds a little bit. Uh, you can just say, led the unit on Haystrom, actually. <laughs> I think that's okay. Unit on Haystrom, where Mirjorin died. I didn't know Mirjorin well, but he seemed like a good soldier and a brave young... I didn't get the chance to know Mir very well, but... I only served with Mir for a short time, but I was impressed by his bravery and his commitment to his people. He died so that I could... He saved me at the sacrifice of his... He gave his life to get data that the Admiralty Board felt was... Yeah. To get data that will one day bring us back to the homeworld. I don't know if that helps. Back to the homeworld, and we all honor his sacrifice. I regret. I am sorry for your... I understand what you must be... Oh, it's really hard to send this message. Kind of hard to send it, though. Easy to forget that, I guess, Tali was kind of the commander on her own little mission, too. Maybe not the commander commander, but she was in charge of getting the information and all that. Even little Tali has grown up. Kasumi Thane. How many more do we have? Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... No, 8. Okay. 8? Um, in that case, maybe I'll just read one more. And then we'll leave the next 4 for next time. Next 5. Uh, actually, am I counting this right? 1, 2, 3, 4... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, 8. And we've read 3 already. Yeah, okay. We'll read about Kasumi. Kasumi Goto, skilled break and enter specialist, sentimental, impulsive risk taker. Investigate lover's death and connection to a lion scandal. Poetry logs, anonymous poems, haiku by Kasumi. Breathless, glinting skin, muscles working in rhythm, cloaked desire watches. Looking at me now, his indifferent eye smile. I am a puddle. Beautiful and good, punishing with his kindness. Jacob is perfect! Oh! <gasps> oh, okay, I forgot. That's right, Kasumi likes Jacob. Oh, this is so strategic. They did this on purpose, okay? The scroll bar, because they could have just deleted this line here, but no, they... <laughs> they were hiding this line on purpose. Oh my god, well... Send it to him, Kasumi. He's single, I hear, and you're single too. Personal correspondence from Kasumi to 
Mafetu Pellery, Blue Suns Omega. I understand from my sources that you are looking to expand your collection of antiquities. These are the items I currently have in inventory. I was originally commissioned to obtain them, but when payment was not forthcoming, they became mine. The prices on all items are open to negotiation. In your case, I may prefer favors over credits. Please use the same secure channel to respond. You have a... Batarian domed ceremonial headdress from a million years ago? Da Vinci Mona Lisa! What? Complete works of esteemed poet Zezoa Thal Vas Ranok. First folio edition, Quarian. The Ko E Nor diamond. Hey, that's human. Is that something I should know? Turian battle spike, 3,000 years old. Origin unknown. Believed to be one of two, but missing its pair. Wow. Kasumi might be the most financially well off out of everybody in our crew, actually. I don't have any money. I rely on the elusive man, but Kasumi. Kasumi's got a lot of expensive stuff. Uh, let's read. Let's read one more. Thane. Drell Assassin achieved top ranks in Hanar training programs, responsible for one hour massacre on Omega. Advanced Keppel Syndrome makes neutralization a low priority. One hour massacre. Kill methods. Preferred assassination methods. Human. Rear approach. Check shoulder to prevent turning. Hands to chin and base of skull. Neck snap. Alternate. Check and grab shoulder. Arm around throat. Grip jaw. Single arm neck snap. Uh, I think we saw this in the video earlier. Asari. Front approach. Throat punch to collapse airway. Arm control lock to neutralize biotics. Ah! Are biotics dependent on being able to wave your hand around? So like if you can't wave your hand, then you can't do biotic stuff? Advanced hip throw. Grip chin and scalp. Neck snap. Alternatively, warp field on biotic barrier. Step past, kick to the back of the leg to collapse knee. Step in with knee to spine, grip chin and scalp. Neck snap. Uh, pretty sure all of these are gonna be neck snap. Oh, jeez. Turian, side approach. Low key, low kick to knee. Grab arm and pull into broken leg lock as Turian leg stiffens in pain response. Finger stab under jaw if unarmored, or eye. Grab head fringe, neck snap. Their, their little pointy head is a liability. Oh my god. Alternatively, front approach. Paired punches to vulnerable plates just below eyes. Drop elbow to collarbone. Front leg sweep while vaulting over target. Spinning neck snap. I'm trying to like imagine this as I'm trying to read it, but <laughs> all I can focus on is the neck snap. Krogan, top approach, double strike to eye ridge, slide down between blinded targets rising arms, precision nerve strike to throat, secondary nerve strike to counter blood rage, quad kick to bend target, grip each side of skull, running, leaping, spinning, neck snap. Alternate bomb. Well, he was basically an assassin from even when he was a kid, I would imagine. It's really sad because I can imagine like, if we're just casually hanging out, we might accidentally trigger one of his fight or flight responses. Like maybe we're sitting across from each other and I'll try to like reach over the table to grab the salt or something and he's gonna be like, oh my god, is she trying to reach for my throat to snap my neck or something? Medical report, Dr. Chalk was. Hey, I should have full permission to read this, right? Uh, actually, I don't know because medical stuff is private anyway. Lung capacity, 42%. Left side lung shows large lesions. Right lung has nodular lesions only. Antibiotic treatment, now resistant to cyposidin, mullinarin, albiricin. Metastatic progress, stomach, liver, minor, heart, negligible at this time. 42%. Treatment options. He can have a transplant, but he refuses to add himself to the list. Synthetic lung generation, currently impossible for Drell. Why? Why is he not adding himself on the list? Therapy and care. At this time, Mr. Krios should continue regular cardiovascular exercise in order to stimulate lung movement and prevent or delay the stiffness that causes a lack of oxygen transport. While physical stimulation may also be beneficial in keeping tissue flexible, any injury at this point will dramatically impact Mr. Krios' body and cause rapid degeneration. It is unclear how much longer Thane will be able to serve in direct action. Thane should continue to wear loose clothing that leaves his chest uncovered to prevent moisture buildup that could worsen the problem. <laughs> He's got a medical reason to show off his body. 
The drill eidetic memory is often beneficial in allowing drill to escape unpleasant scenes by losing themselves in happier times. In this case, however, Mr. Krios should try to restrict the time spent reminiscing as prolonged sedentary activity may increase the rate of lung degradation. This suggests that what is best for Mr. Krios currently is to continue to remain active and to engage with other team members in order to stay mentally and emotionally stimulated. Hmm. Didn't he tell us in the beginning he only had maybe a few months? Less than a year, right? Oh, Thane. Can't even imagine what it's like to just know that you're gonna die soon. Oh, the reports. Like, Shepard died, but she never knew she was gonna die until the moment it happened. So it's like, whatever, but to know that it's gonna happen. Warning signal. Mission report ready. Success! Admiral Hackett and the 5th Fleet have ambushed the colony raiding pirates. Yay, money! Bureaucracy in action. Failure. Serta Foundation's antibiotic tests have been blocked by Citadel legislation. Oh! Oh no! Oh, okay, so we have like new ones later on. Oh, okay. Smear campaign on Udina. Success! The politician retires. It's not Udina, it's just a picture of him. <laughs> yes! Mutually assured income. Just reward. Yes! The police quietly slip you a cut from the raid on the Red Sand Factory. Yay! Embedded correspondence. Put more reporters in the Terminus systems. Set them up with safe houses and contacts. Okay. Well, three out of four, not so bad. Let's see what happens this time. Blue listed. Blue suns are becoming too powerful. Run a galaxy-wide expose on their corruption and tendency to turn on their employers. Oh, okay. Mutually assured income. Clashes between countries on the Batarian homeworld of Karshan are becoming frequent. Make sure no nation state gains more control than the others by regulating weapon sales to all sides. Okay. This is from the DLC. Hey, Batarians have six eyes. Or... Is that an eye here? Six eyes, right? Chemical warfare. Binary Helix trying to develop some hormone implants for Alliance soldiers that fall out of the Citadel's genetic treaty laws. The company is going to be very generous if you let them know when the Citadel inspectors are coming. Okay, anything for the money, basically. Oh, I was going to say also about Dr. Chakwas. She initially started out as a Alliance medical doctor, right? So I think it makes sense if she specializes in humans, but now that our ship has so many random other- Random? <laughs> I mean, aliens. Does she have to go back and like re-educate herself, no, or is she just amazing and knows everything? I wonder.